Aloha everyone, Adina Sampson here, and welcome to another edition of Living Authentically Out Loud. Today's topic, lighten up. That's right, <laughs> lighten up, because when you do, the sun comes shining through. Absolutely, positively. So with that, let's go ahead and let's get started. So my question to you is, when was the last time you had a good laugh? I'm talking about a really good laugh. When was the last time? Think about it. Haven't you heard that laughter is the best medicine? Medical research is shedding a new light on the healing properties of laughter and its effects on our health. Did you know that a good belly laugh, I'm talking about a really good belly laugh, gives us the same benefits as an aerobic workout? Wow, why don't we laugh more often? Sounds good to me. Saves us a whole lot of time going to the gym, right? <laughs> laughter boosts our immune system, decreases stress, lowers blood pressure, and reduces pain. It can also help us in uh, overcoming our fears and has a beneficial effect on our overall well-being. So another question is, why is it then, as we grow older, we forget this all too easily? We get bogged down and overburdened by so many things in our life. Our whole world is on our shoulders, right? The weight of the world is on our shoulders. We become too practical, and our days can also become a never-ending to-do list, right? We don't even realize how far removed we are from experiencing the true spontaneous joy that we should, that we deserve, that we can. Most of us find ourselves saying we don't have enough time, we don't have enough money, we don't have enough energy to play, to be in joy, to smile, right? And yet playfulness is a wonderful investment that yields immediate results. We cannot afford not to smile. We can't afford not to laugh, trust me. When I was younger, I was all too serious. I don't know, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I was, I was way too serious when I was younger. Maybe as the oldest that had something to do with it, who knows, we all have our reasonings, and whether that's in the past at some point or now, check in to see are you laughing enough, are you smiling enough, are you in your joy enough to create what you want in your life? You know, it took me a lot of letting go, a lot of working on myself to get back to my joy because I had lost it. I know I expressed this to you before. And me moving to Maui, my move to Maui has been a huge healing, uh, you know, aspect of my life. I've had to let go and surrender. But what I did was I added some amazing activities into my life that rekindled my joy, that allowed me to get in touch with my joy. I started dancing every week. Dancing I love, I always have loved. I started to work out, which makes me feel wonderful on a daily basis. I started to go to the movies. Yes, I said the movies. I never used to watch TV, never used to do that enough, and I realized how valuable that was. I go to the movies every week, but I only go to the movies every week to see a comedy. I go with a friend, I see a comedy, and that's it, and we laugh. We laugh out loud. Now, don't be afraid. When you go to the movies and you're watching a comedy, laugh out loud. Don't hold back. You know, you're not there to please anyone. Everybody is there to laugh. So laugh wholeheartedly with every ounce of your being because the healing aspects of it is, is, is absolutely incredible. That is how I have come to a different space in my life where I find myself laughing pretty much every moment of every day. And of course, when you don't laugh and things go wrong, okay, so they do. So let it go, move through it, and pick yourself back up, right? Because when you have fun and you laugh, you relax. When you relax, you're more open to the divine guidance and inspiration that comes through you. And when you're inspired and you allow your creative energy to move through you, you're able to create and manifest exactly what you want in your life. And through that joy and your smiling, your radiant personality and positive outlook naturally attracts wonderful people, situations, and opportunities to you, no doubt. So you may be asking yourself, well, I'm not in that space, right? <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about, Adina. How do I go about doing this? How do I go about bringing more joy into my life? Well, I guess the best example I can give you is start with your pets. Do you have a pet? Most of us have a pet. You know, children are great examples, but not all of us have children. When you see a baby and it's laughing or just, you know, innocence, it brings you pure joy. But our pets are a great example. I've been able to experience that from uh, my dogs. And, you know, they are so present in the moment. It's the little things that they do that bring us joy, right? And if you really pay attention to what they do and how they act, they have their own language in communicating with us. They are our best teachers of unconditional love. 
and their excitement brings you back to the simplicity of life and the joy that the moment can bring. We've talked this about this many times before, the joy and the importance of the present moment, right? It's all about lightening up to increase your vibration and bring joy into your life so you can create what you want. So here's a quote I'd like to share with you I think is absolutely wonderful. Angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. Isn't that great? Angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. So I urge you to do the same. I invite you to spread your wings and fly. Find the light inside of you. Lighten up. Don't take yourself so seriously. Move forward, right? Go play, laugh, dance, celebrate the beauty of life. Go explore, have an adventure, get lost. Connect with nature and animals. Do whatever it is that brings you joy. Be a kid. Dare to dream again. Imagine a new world and paint a brighter picture of tomorrow. That's what I urge you to do right then and now. Don't wait for today is the day. And remember, when you get up tomorrow morning, you're never fully dressed without a smile. Don't forget that. When you're laughing, oh, the sun, it comes shining through. So remember that. Put on a smile. Smile to your neighbors, to your friends. It brightens someone else's day. Laugh, have fun, enjoy, and lighten up. Because when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Much love, light, and aloha. Don't forget, lighten up. Enjoy yourself in every moment and every day. Visit www.outloudproductions.tv where we offer you a safe place to live in your truth. Until next time, see ya.